The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. Yeah, I went to the grand final on Sunday night and I was just talking with Buzz off air. He asked me about the kid Leroy, mm. uh, where we were seated at the stadium and we got there right on sort of seven o'clock. So just as the kid, yeah, right. like we got there and the kid came out. But the sound system where we were seated, which was kind of level with one of the try lines, we couldn't hear really anything. I couldn't hear. Is that right? I couldn't hear anything. Like if I if I listened really hard, I could kind of put together mm. what was going on. Uh, and when he did the uh, in excess song, yeah, I didn't see it. So, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I could I could hear that. He did never tear us apart at the end. So you don't sort of sound all right, but well, you, you couldn't was, really tell because of where you were. The sound system was just shite. So. I never really hit that right at the stadiums, do they? Yeah, I couldn't. I, I, I couldn't tell. Uh, I couldn't work it out that well. It was weird on TV. What, yeah, what was it like on TV? I don't know. Like I, so I'm a massive Kid Leroy fan, obviously. So I was always going to love it because I, I love all the stuff that he does. But you couldn't hear any crowd noise. That was like the first thing that I noticed. So he was singing, and obviously he's performing to a crowd. Yeah. And, and he's like getting crowd involvement, going, "Come on, Sydney, are you excited?" See, and, I didn't hear any of that. It's just his microphone. They were just taking his mic. Nothing ambient. And then it was literally yeah. like, and it, it was awkward because. It sounded like the crowd weren't interacting back with him. I don't know if they were. We, uh, well, in my set, I was I was trying to work out whether it was just my segment that wasn't so able to hear it that yeah. well, and whether the rest of the stadium was plugged in. Yeah, but that's what it felt like to me. It felt like I was plugged out. Okay, yeah, okay. Yes. So maybe that w- was the case around the stadium, but at least from the TV viewing, you couldn't really hear any crowd interaction. And the other thing as well is, and I, this kind of comes with the territory. I think he's got his songs swear a lot. And so they beeped out or blanked out the bits of bits that he was well, swearing. They did? Well, I think he wasn't saying them, but oh. again, because you heard no crowd noise, it just turned into silence, and he'd, he'd miss like four or five words in a row. He'd almost get rid of a sentence that had like <laughs> two or three silence. swear words in it, and but, he, it but just he was stopped. singing live. Yeah, it's well, yeah, like his 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 shtick is he sings with a back backing track, and you can hear. I think he gets accused of lip singing, but you can, exactly, you can hear a little bit of his vocals in the background. Yeah, right. But he's very clearly singing because, like, he's he, heavily auto tuned and stuff with his record tracks. It doesn't yeah. sound exactly the same live. And, you, and there was uh, from I didn't see it, but um, the reports were that there was the sm- too much smoke. Yeah, so yeah, there was a lot. Of, couldn't see a lot of smoke. Yeah, yeah. From a production point of view, though, it looked cool. Like it was it- something different to what we've seen before. Yeah, it seemed pretty dynamic yeah. in the studio, but it was just one of those things that, I mean, they make such a big deal. The Kid Leroy's going there. It's kind of like it's going to be like a rock concert. I don't know. Do people have rock concerts at that stadium? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that's where Taylor yeah. played. But I guess, like, you know. Oh, they, that's where Taylor played, wasn't mm. it? Yeah. But you've got banks of speakers for, you know, yeah. like, that they don't put they didn't get in right. for that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's. it's, I, it's I, hard I was, to I was like, I, I wonder if it's just a TV spectacle. <laughs> Because he got mixed reviews as well, didn't he? Yeah, and I think I think the issue is he's not – unless you know his music, he, he's, he's a different style. He's not like Birds of Tokyo. They wheel out Birds of Tokyo and then they play lanterns and then they jump off stage. So he's playing a whole thing. He actually, And that's what I thought. I thought they gave him a lot of air time, especially Channel 9. Like He had a good 10, 15-minute sort of spot there where he was – and so close to the kickoff. And yeah. he, said, he said to Smallsy he, he was nervous because, you know, when you do those gigs, like, you're going to have people there that – Obviously, aren't there for you. So there's people there that probably hate him. Well, that's it. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Sometimes if it's where his concert mm. where people have paid to see him. But that's what I liked about the appointment for the Kid Leroy too is that he is bringing in sort of a younger demographic, like yeah. the rusted on people like me. I'm I'm not there for the entertainment. Yeah. I'm, there, I'm there for the game of footy. <laughs> but the the Kid Leroy brings in a lot of people. Yeah. You, you'd imagine that normally would be neither here nor there about sitting down for the rugby league grand final. I saw I saw some people saying it was really good, and then I saw one thing on Twitter. Wondering if it was a Chris Lilly character. <laughs> <laughs> the Ash Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. Uh, I should mention before we get to the Oasis news that we have Sam Frost in this morning. Yeah, Sam Frost Morning, has Sam. dropped in. Thank you so much for having me. It's good to be here. You've uh, you've joined us just in time for the uh, Oasis news. Uh, Ash, are you an Oasis fan, Sam, by any chance? Uh, look, not really, to be honest. That's I'm okay. <laughs> Ash, Ash is the... Now. Sorry, guys. <laughs> you've offended him. You've been here for 10 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lie, you know. That's a no, good point. because if you tell a fib about that, then they're like, yeah. oh, what's your favourite song? And then yeah, you're in yeah, trouble. Yeah, yeah. Really, like, um, really like purple. It's yellow, Sam. <laughs> yeah. It's not even Oasis. Um, okay, so they have on their Instagram, um, they were teasing at 8am ADT or 7am our time. Oasis, this is exactly what they've written. People of the land down under. 
You better run. You better take cover. We are coming. You are most welcome. Austra- uh, Oasis will tour Australia in 2025, and this is the little audio that they had on their Insta with it. Oasis will tour 2025. The Oasis live in Australia. Marvel Stadium, Melbourne, and Accor Stadium, Sydney, October and November 2025. Get tickets Tuesday, October 15th at livenation.com.au. Oasis, live 25. There we go. Weekend kebabs will be served. So where's Accor the stadium? stadium? That's uh, the Olympic Stadium at home. Accor's the Olympic. Marvel, that's a weird one. I thought they would have done the G. Yeah, strange. Well, maybe, it's an acu- maybe it's an acoustic thing, although what did Taylor do? Taylor did the G. She did the G. Didn't Edge she? done the G. Eminem does oh, yeah, the G. Yeah. Maybe it's unavailable because yeah. of the uh, the. Uh, well, thirty first no. of October is when Marvel is, the, the gig is, and then over by then seventh of November. I reckon they've given themselves some time in between those dates to get a second show in, potentially. Mm. Mm. Maybe demand. They're having a rest, maybe between mm. the concerts too. Alicia, what's the story? Like, how did we get Morning tickets? Glory? So I know that you would have <laughs> looked into it already. Yeah, so there's a pre-sale ballot already online, which is the same sort of deal as last time. You got to you know write your questions and whatever, like answer a question about the band, um, and then pre-sale starts on Monday, the 14th of October, which is next Monday, and general sale goes. Uh, general sale is next Tuesday at 11 a.m. our time, Brisbane. You've got to answer okay. a question about the band. 25 words or less. Why do you like Oasis? Yeah. Really? We That's must awesome. do. That's weird. Yeah. Uh, LiveNation.com.au if, if you want to get all the details on that. Uh, you missed out on tickets to Wembley and Manchester, Ash. Are you going to yeah. try and get these ones? Most deaf. Yeah. I will. <laughs> I just realized I said yellow, which is not even... I know, it's a Coldplay song. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say that, but I didn't want to correct you. I thought, I'm not going to come in here, offend Oasis fans, and then done. try and correct you, you know? I'm not going to offend either with a piss, Sam. You pissed off Ash and you pissed off Lutzi. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Sam Frost. I didn't even notice. <laughs> the Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. So I went to the grand final in Sydney on Sunday, and I went down there with uh, one of my... Older boy Sid, or my middle boy Sid, he lives in Sydney, so we caught up with him down there, but I went down there with my youngest boy, Archie, and that was his first ever grand final. Oh, he would have loved it. I've seen him at Origins. He gets into it. Yeah. Well, speaking yeah. of... He's like, a total rugby league. He head. loves it. He's a total league. Head. Speaking about Nick wearing sporting gear, like for, there was for maybe not anymore, but for a while there, you didn't see Archie in anything but no. sporting... Footy yeah. shorts. <laughs> Footy shorts and yeah. jersey. Like, he lived in that stuff. Every, every picture of him growing up, he's wearing something that's footy... Apparel. Yeah, yeah. So it was a big deal for him. And I got given it, Sam, as a Father's Day present. Oh. So, you know, basically my wife Jo had organised it all. We paid for it and my kids <laughs> handed over a card. <laughs> so you're taking us to Very the grand sweet. final. <laughs> but I didn't pay any attention to it other than um, Jo sort of said uh, on – I flew down Sunday morning, 6 o'clock Sunday morning. She goes, Qantas, 6 o'clock Sunday morning. And I'm like, in my head, I go, oh, okay, well – Yep, okay, well, it's going to be an early start because I live on the Gold Coast. Mm. Qantas flight, so we're flying out of Brizzy, 6 o'clock. Jeez. So Archie and I got up and we left the coast at like 4, uh, just about quarter past 4 Yeah, wow. on Sunday morning. Archie's full excited, like full excited, can't wait. And I'm like, okay, this, is, this will be a good day. Get to the airport, like, I don't know, quarter past 5 or something. I already had my – I'm checked, checked in. So Joe had checked us in, got the ticket, so went through security. I get up to the – I go, let's go into the Corners Club and uh, we can have a cup – I'll have a cup of coffee, you can make some pancakes or whatever before we get on the flight. And I get my tip thing and I show it to the lady to come to the Corners Club. She goes, this flight's out of Coolangatta. Oh, 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 mate. What? <laughs> That is such a rookie mistake. You've had some horrible experiences on airplanes in the last three weeks. Uh, Whose fault's that? Let's just get. It's my fault. (laughs) You're right. It's my fault. Without doubt, it's my fault. But I never knew. I never knew Qantas flew out of uh, the Cold Coast. I I, I just didn't. Mm. So what'd you do? Did you get a flight out of where you were? Oh, so like my heart sunk, um, Mm. and I, I said to Archie, I just turned to him straight away. I went, mate. Um, we've missed your, the flight. Your dad's a bit of a dud. Oh. Yeah, we've, we've missed the flight. <laughs> and the look on his face was just like, I was just, I don't oh, think I've man. ever felt worse. And then, and Joe, I rang Joe, I'm walking back to the car and, oh, you know what I did? I put into maps straight away. Um, I, I put into maps <laughs> Sydney, like from here to Sydney, from the Br- drive. Uh, Brisbane airport. 
and it was it came up like nine and a half or ten hours. It was like so you could have got there. It was like five thirty in the morning. I'm like. Archie, we can do it. Like, regardless of what happens here, we are going to the game. Yes. Uh, but we might have to drive <laughs> the, the, the whole day, <laughs> Sunday. And I rang Jode, and she never gets. Well, she, oh, no, that's not true. She does get upset. <laughs> <laughs> Be very but careful. Just for what the you're record. Say. <laughs> <laughs> but not often does she get upset. And I've rung and I've gone, Jode, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm in Brisbane. <laughs> like, and she's Did like, she know what? it was coming up? Yeah, she booked a flight. So, oh, she, right, so yeah. yeah. Uh, and she gave me the boarding pass. So you're pass sure it's not her fault? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling like I could probably front foot this for you and oh, get, get some blame switched. I, I was like, I was like, Jade, I'm, I'm at Brisbane. I'm at Brisbane Airport. And she's just lost it. She, How could you? Like, and, and I said, Jade, I couldn't feel any worse right now. Like, honestly, we need we're to find a solution. And we. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, so we, can you help me? <laughs> yes. Well, that's what I did because I knew that she had. So as I'm walking back, and that's where I was grateful that the Broncos didn't make the grand final because it wasn't wasn't we, hectic. There were still tickets available. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're not expensive. Re- yeah. Remember this time last year? Yeah. Well, this time last year, when the Bronx were in the grand final, I did have. I got tickets at the last moment. I couldn't even get flights. Mm. So I, for some reason, I was thinking it was going to be like that, but I ended up, we bought two tickets, two, two extra tickets to get down there, lost the flights to the coast, and we were able to fly down. But if the Bronx had have been there... Well, that cost you, Matt, of curious. Because uh, remember, they were talking about price gouging, uh, getting to the AFL grand yeah, final week before. Yeah. 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 Was, it, was it over like... Oh, like 1500 bucks for the AFL. Yeah, yeah, it was it was overs, but it, at that point... Last minute tickets. It didn't matter. Yep. Like, I, was, I was happy just to, to get it. Yeah, and so, then that, that, and there was one stage there that way they said, but, um, "I went, can we change our flights back to the Gold Coast? Because now I've got my car in Brisbane. Yeah, can we change them to no, sir." <laughs> <laughs> the Ash Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. I said, "Burn!" It's cold in here. I said, "There must be some content in the atmosphere." Here we go. All right, Nick won the toss and he's elected to bat first. So he's leading off this morning, shooting for seven in a row. All All right. right. You ready, son? Five seconds, Nick, and it starts now. The Mormon TikTok trend that's giving everyone the shakes. (laughs) (laughs) And he does it with a smirk right at the end. He looked straight into your soul. How'd you feel? I felt violated. (laughs) (laughs) Sometimes you feel like he reaches and he finds, yeah, yeah, Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying. By the way, did he say the morbid or the Mormon? Mormon. Mormon. I thought he said Mormon. I heard Mormon. Okay, Mormon. Okay. Mm. All right. right. Let's see if Alicia can uh, wrestle off the win. Here we go. Wake up, babe. The downfall of Liam Payne is happening on Twitter and people are here for it. Uh, Liam Payne from One Direction. Oh, yeah, One Direction oh, fans. Yeah, I think so. You yeah. hit the post there, Alicia. That was yeah, nice. That was, that was nice. perfect That's one of your Well done. It really was. Memory. Do you want to go first, Sam? Which one piqued your interest, uh, Alicia or Nick? Nick. Uh, to be honest, I just want to hear Nick uh, <laughs> talk again okay. because he takes it very, very seriously. <laughs> well, just don't make eye contact with me with this. Yeah, yeah, it's, like, it's, with it's, me. You've rattled her. I can't even talk you rattled her. It's confronting, isn't it? We should tell Sam the loser will be on the podcast. And he hasn't even had his protein shake. Yeah, so imagine what he's like after one of them. Oh, it's like the Brian okay. Toho uh, pre-grand final meal. You've got a Coke Zero there and everything. <laughs> uh, I'm uh, going to go, Alicia, just because it makes put some pressure on you. Ash was the... Yeah, the well... Vote. Yeah, the Mormon... It didn't grab me, Nick. Oh! oh, oh it, it didn't oh, grab me, I've got to be honest. And you will hear the other one in the podcast anyway. Yeah. Okay, yeah. great. Yep. So One Direction, <laughs> Nick's Alicia. Shocked. Nick's actually shocked. <laughs> yes. Yeah, back to reserve grade, son. <laughs> Get out. Hey, back to reserve grade. You'll hear him in the podcast. Yeah, Strap him right. up, guys. Yeah. You, you know what? You'll get longer with him in the podcast. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. It, you won't be able to shut him up. <laughs> <laughs> in, in It'll be podcast. 20 minutes. It'll be 20 minutes. He'll, he'll, he'll love it. Yeah, so, what um, got? so Liam Payne, the downfall of Liam Payne is happening on Twitter. Oh, no. We're here for it. So it started over the weekend. He, atta- he attended one of uh, Niall Horan's shows in Argentina. So mm-hmm. Niall's the Irish fella. Liam's just English, right? Yeah. They're What's all, everyone's favourite Liam direction, Payne right? song? Yeah, both I couldn't out. name one. I exactly. could not name one Sunshine. Song. I don't think I've ever heard this song. I've never heard this song. <laughs> no, it's very catchy. Oh, hang on. The one that you might know. Oh. Give me a second. Oh. Uh, there's no hook. Well, yeah. is, this, is this his biggest hit? Nah. <laughs> 
You'd be in trouble if that's true. Yeah. Where is it? But he, he, so he travelled to Argentina. Oh, I know this one. Yeah, okay. This is a good song. This is good because it's got Quavo on it. He's a one-hit wonder outside heard. One Direction. But, like, yeah. I'm into it. Mm. <laughs> so he flew to Argentina to go to one of Niall's shows there. And he was accused of trying to steal the spotlight from his ex bandmate uh. um, because he was doing like lots of dances for the fans and like trying to interact. Like he was in a VIP booth, so yeah. he wasn't like in amongst the fans, but he was like trying to get their attention. He's probably trying to get um, dragged up on stage. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. So he was like singing Grease to them before the show even started. And then um. while the show was going on, he was doing the Macarena. Uh. Like really weird. You just say that, and I already know what type of person he is. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. So that kind of kicked it off, and then his ex fiance is apparently this is in the background. She's going to be releasing a book um, that's going to detail like the inside of their relationship, and then his beef with the band as well, because he's famously like saying neg- negative things about them all before. Really? Yeah, he went on a, I think it was either Joe Rogan or Logan Paul or someone like that. He went on a podcast and he was like, oh yeah, we all hate each other. None of us talk to each other outside of that. Mm. And and Simon Cowell picked me to be the front man of the band. Like I was supposed to be the oh, Harry Styles on, and buddy. all of that kind of stuff. Yeah, so it's no all one knows a bit. Your song yeah. Yeah. Tell your story. Yeah. 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 Who's, bu- who's buying that book, by the way? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> from from yeah. the guy from One Direction who everyone forgets. <laughs> The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. I'm smarter than... I'm smarter than Suze. Brighton Homes includes aircon, flooring, steel frames and solar as standard. You don't need to be smarter than Suze to discover why it's better with Brighton. Yeah, shout out to Brighton Homes. Great supporters. Big supporters of Smarter Than Suze for a long time now. I see there, I don't know if it's their office... But uh, it's Springwood. As I come through yeah, there, yeah. it's on the side uh, of the Like Shaler Park there. near, yeah, near the Hyperdome. Near the Hungry Jacks around that sort of yeah. area. Yeah. One of my mates works there. Shout out Kai at Brighton Homes. <laughs> really? He listens every day. Probably driving in right now. What's Kai do? Uh, I think he's like a foreman, potentially. He costs up stuff. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he's one of the, you know, the old school builders that get out of the building trade because their body gives up on him. And now he's, yeah. he's an office job guy. Yeah, Kai. Has That's body, Kai. Kai's body left him a long time ago. <laughs> a long time ago, mate. <laughs> Give it up, Kai. <laughs> Uh, Renee, stuff. out of Redland Bay. Hello? It's oh, no, Annette, so, no, actually. sorry. Annette. 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 Bloody hell did I get Yes, Renee? good Where's morning. Oh, hello. Hi. Hello, Jeez, you, Annette. You're out of Redland? <laughs> yes, that's right. Was there a Renee up there or am I making things No, up? you're making it no, up. No, I, I had the song hook ready. Did you? Yeah. Just yeah. Why, why did you have that ready? It says Annette. Just Ash and I are dancing. Oh, I have to play that one next. Yeah, well, you did see if there's no Renee here. Oh, I swear there was a Renee there. All right. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, what's, your, what, what's your go now? you got James with you, do you? What's he? He'd be f- yes. 15 I've got by James. now, wouldn't he? He's 15. Yeah. Is James 15? Yes. Yeah, I thought so, yeah. Is How he, old's James? He's not gimping at that age, is he? No, he's not. I asked him, but he's just not into it. Sorry. No, he's 15. Can, Come we, can, on, we, just, can we just, can we just get a good A from uh, James? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Just say good A. G'day. Oh, oh no. classic 15 <laughs> attitude exactly there. exactly like a 15 Do a gimp, James. Come on. Come on, James. Even, do a gimp. Even, even that g'day. Even that g'day from James. Don't, he's saying energy. no, Mum. <laughs> yeah, g'day. Yeah. G'day. Don't embarrass me, bro. <laughs> it's Monday morning. That's probably what's, the best you'll get out of him. What's he, was he grade 10? <laughs> yes, grade oh, 10. Yeah, 10 yeah. men. Yeah, hit oh, the senior yeah. school yeah. pretty soon. You know, yeah. Mum, no. Yeah. Like one of the big guys in high school now, Mum. As my brother said when he was 15, I'm not a kid anymore, Mum. I see my brother and I still give him shit about it. I'm not a kid anymore! Oh, Leave funny. me alone, I need my space! <laughs> Shut up, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> idiot. <laughs> Brother's an idiot, Sam. Oh, man. Uh, Poor James uh, listening to this. It was a real like... turning point in, in, in Brad's development. Yeah, it really and then was. there was the day that Brad told Mum and Dad, I'm not a kid anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I won't even get what, what happened to him in Darwin. That's for another time. So. Oh, podcast. Yeah. Podcast. podcast. Tell podcast. me about Darwin. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, Annette, plenty to play for. Uh, $800 yeah. into the draw for the BYD 803. Yippee yo. Right. Good luck. Let's get Thank into you. it. 30 seconds on the clock, and your time starts now. In rhyming slang, what is a pork pie? Oh, I don't know. Who won the Oscar for Best Male Actor this year? Don't know. What is the world's newest country? Oh, don't know. 
What is a group of emus known as? Oh, I don't know. This is going to be The formula E equals MC squared is associated with which mathematician? Oh, I don't know. Oh, Jeez, five, oh. five dinos. That was atrocious. What does James really think hard? right now? Well, James didn't help. Hey. He doesn't know. Oh, thank God he can't hear. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think James got in the car, didn't he? Well, that's a oh. pantsing oh. right there. Yeah, it's a definite pantsing, Annette. That James is walking to school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll get out here on the M1, oh, Mum. We're going to pop out right now, Mum. <laughs> well, <laughs> Probably don't even pick oh, me up this time, yeah. actually. Oh, on Cleveland Road, just leave me oh, here. Yeah. I'll walk home, Mum. Uh, uh, well, look, Suze could have a shocker too. I honestly can't remember. Uh, yeah, had a she left. Long time. I ran out of time. Uh, a little bit of time left. So. Oh, was yeah, it? Yeah, a, a yeah well, she said don't know just before the clock ran out. Yeah, so right, give you a little okay. bit of time. Okay, yeah. you got a lot of time. Oh, you're left just in being it. kind now. I absolutely am, Annette. It was terrible. <laughs> it might be enough. <laughs> <laughs> it it, it might Annette. be enough. Mm. Um, well, the gimp is a good one. All right, I've got on, big shoulders. On a positive note, uh, Ricky <laughs> is Lee. Is that where we're at? <laughs> Ricky Lee's got the gimp. All right, here it is. Bring in, bring in the gimp. Bring in, bring in the gimp. Bring in, bring in the gimp. Bring, 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 bring in the gimp. Oh, how good's that? No music either. A cappella. A cappella. Frenzy O'Neill. Hold the phone, Freddy. Frenzy O'Neill. I thought we were doing well. You won't see anything like that again this year. All right. Let's see how Suze goes. 30 seconds on the clock and your time starts now. In rhyming slang, what is a pork pie? Uh, I don't know. Who won the Oscar for Best Male Actor this year? George Clooney. What is the world's newest country? I don't know. What is a group of emus known as? <laughs> I don't know. The formula E equals MC squared is associated with... with which mathematician? Albert Einstein. Stop clock. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, my God. Wow, she did pretty terrible too. <laughs> <laughs> she really did. I, uh, and that's probably not feeling so bad after that. No, and that never happened. I don't know. No. How many? I don't know. Is that n- nine? Nine out of ten. Yep. Yeah. That's rare. It's got to be a record. That's rare as You want a two go? Because it's tighter than yeah, I thought it was going to yeah, be. Yeah, yeah. Tight, tight, tight. He's up. Uh, in rhyming slang... <laughs> What is a pork pie? Did you know this one, Sam? Por- oh, no way. No. Nah. A porky. You're telling porkies? Pork pork pie? Oh. How are you saying it? What's the question? In- I reckon it's a, there's a problem with the question here, actually. In rhyming slang... Lockie does our question, Yeah, Sam. in rhyming slang, what is a pork pie? So what does it mean? Oh. So I would have said a try. I don't in think A rugby league try. He's got a pork pie. Yeah, well, it, they've got here a lie. Yeah, a lie also. But if someone's telling porkies, like that's... Yeah, but that's, you didn't say, what, what do you say? If that's an abbreviation. You, yeah, you didn't say, what's a nickname for it? Listen, yeah, I don't yeah. write the question. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm not passionate about it one way or the other. Okay. I'm just reading... You regret asking, here. don't you? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> right, so nil all. Um, where's my mate James? James, are you there, mate? Still? James is here, but yeah. he's oh, not, James is not going to oh. talk. Good. Yeah. <laughs> he's oh. just giving me the side eye. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so 15 year old. <laughs> He'd rather be at school than listening to this crap right now. This is James' worst nightmare. School will be finished by the time we finish this quiz. Uh, I'm sitting in RE right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's how crap this is for James right now. Who won the Oscar <laughs> for Sam's best Sam's dying. Sam's dead. Oh, I just had a flashback to RE. That's why. <laughs> oh, man. All right. All right. Yeah, we oh, Mr. Cho. Sorry, keep going, guys. We have Mr. Stone here. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, anyone want to have a crack at this? What? what? Best uh, male actor at the Oscars. No idea. How quickly we forget. Yeah. Sam, anyone? It, was, it wasn't George Clooney, though. No, it wasn't. No. Oh, George, uh, definitely wasn't George. It was Cillian Murphy. Um, oh, Oppen- oh, Oppen- 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 yes, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So it's nil all. The world's newest country. No idea. No. South Sudan. Ah, oh, right. In 2011. No one's going to get that. <laughs> Who's no going to get that? <laughs> Did anybody listening get that? No. <laughs> no. Seriously. Uh, what is a group of emus known as? Emu. Anyone? 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 No, I don't know. A mob. Oh, it's known a as a, a mob. Mm, uh, so it's nil all. And then the formula E equals MC squared is associated with with, with which mathematician. You're right. Uh, you <laughs> said you I, that last time? You, you did a, that you in a, a pre-record. You did the pre-record and <laughs> <laughs> in the live one and then. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Albert Einstein. It was Albert. Oh. And Sue's got that. So it's a one nil. 
victory to Susan O'Neill. And Suze is back tomorrow, but we'll play again at 9 o'clock for $900 mm. now. Uh, you're in for a treat here, Sam, because Lutz wow. is going into the kickback cave. Oh, awesome. Load her up, Lutzy. Right. Um, well, Ash and I were just out, actually. Uh, oh, this was amazing, actually. <laughs> oh, there, in the a, kitchen. There's some books. There's like a mini library yeah. in the kitchen I've never even noticed before. Yeah. Right up the back near the free soft drinks. Yeah. And Sam Frost. The book. Ah. Oh. What? I can't believe you have that there. Believe. Learning to live with yourself and all your glorious imperfections by Sam Frost. We have a signed <laughs> copy. <laughs> Did you even get that? A, no, Can you sign it, Sam? It was Lutzy sitting in the gold. kitchen. Yes. Yeah, so. just Lutzy, and Lutzy walked straight over and went, oh, like he was there half an hour ago. He that's pulled you. out your book. Yeah. That's your book. That's amazing. My son thinks that's the greatest book in the world. Oh, there you go. Hey. Well, a signed copy. You've got to sign it out for the for uh, for Annette. There you go, Annette. Oh, so you got a signed copy of Sam's you. book. That is um, amazing. Just write, dear Renee. <laughs> and James. Yeah. Don't forget James. Oh, I won't forget James. The poor sweetie. Is ja- is yeah, give it to James. Is James yeah, James. a Katy Perry fan? Uh, He's not going to admit no, that. Did you mean Katy Perry? He said no. Uh, <laughs> uh, Katy Perry's Bring the Lifetimes Tour presented by Snaffle to the Entertainment Centre June 17 and 18. Tickets from Ticket Tech. Well, you've got a double pass oh. Annette, to wow. see Katy Perry. Yeah, sound thrilled. Oh. Cool, that sounds amazing. Thank you. Good on you, well done. Cheers. Thanks, guys. Okay. 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 Nice, nice. The Ash, Lutzi, and Susie O'Neill podcast. Okay, let's go. Nova. Hi, right, we're Coldplay. Coldplay! Your home of Coldplay. The only way to see us live is to keep it on Nova. Yeah, unfortunately, not bringing their uh, Music of the Spheres World Tour to Brisbane. No. I dare say because we don't have a venue big enough where to they house play, them. Buzz? Well, Suncor, but. Yeah. Even there, when you're talking about MCG and a core which uh, hosted the grand final. Yeah, they need big numbers. They're only doing a couple of concerts here, aren't they? Yeah. Sydney, Melbourne? Not many, yeah. yeah. Um, but the good news is we're sending you to see Coldplay live. Uh, Mel Trasina's got the hook up every single morning after 9 o'clock. Uh, you just got to get on air with us, and then Mel will call you back after 9 o'clock. It's a real event, a Coldplay concert too. Yeah. Do they start? Yeah, I think they're the pioneers of that. Yeah, yeah the, the old wristband technology. Yeah, I think with yeah. the lights. The first time I ever saw it. Mm. Paraphrasing here, but I believe they own the rights to that. There's whatever. something cool about. I remember seeing. I have actually seen Coldplay at um, at Suncorp Sun Cold Stadium. Yeah, yeah that was great. Same that was great yeah. And I used to live in Paddington. I remember walking home and I had the wristband on, and I sat it on my bedside table when I got home, and it was just flashing for like. 45 minutes <laughs> really? after the concert. Yeah, still yeah. Right. yeah it's still going. It was, uh, it was a bit of fun. But that's interesting to me. Let's see you saying, do, do, does Coldplay own the... My understanding was they were then because Taylor Swift, when she wanted it then, you know, she had to go through, you know, purchase whatever she needed to do off Coldplay's... Through Coldplay. They, yeah. They've got the technology. Yeah. Because that... Someone checked that, but that's what I was told at the concert. It's funny, like... The, when was that Coldplay concert at Suncorp? Oh, I remember the Temper Trap played before them. 16, maybe? 2016? That's when I saw them. It was a great gig. That was yeah. the Temper Trap one, I think. That yeah. was so good. And then yeah. I, I hadn't seen that technology until I went to the Jets game at MetLife Stadium in New York, what, two, three weeks ago? Oh, yeah. Which Jets? <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and I saw it there, 68,000. Yeah. I came back and spoke about it. And then all of a sudden, three weeks later, it's at the NRL Grand Final. Yeah, that, wow. that, that must have looked pretty good on TV because. So you were wearing it, one at the NRL? As you walked into the stadium, you got given the wristband, okay. same as you were at the Jets three weeks ago, yeah. and then it can line up. Can you imagine that all in maroon That's on cool. Origin night? Yeah. When the Queenslanders run out, the whole stadium will be maroon. That'd be unreal. So I just did some really, really quick. Yeah, there we go. It's a Coldplay fan who actually um, invented the, the wristbands. In 2005. Solar bands. Yeah. Yeah, and Coldplay, Coldplay governs yeah. the trademark, the patent, and the intellectual rights for it as well. Incredible. I'd be making some coin out of yeah, that, I that, guess. They use that at the Olympics, so we use it everywhere. Oh, yeah. Mm. It looks fantastic. The Ash, Lutzi, and Susie O'Neill podcast. Okay, let's go. Nova. Hi, we're Coldplay. Coldplay! Your home of Coldplay. The only way to see us live is to keep it on Nova. Yeah, tickets, accommodation, flights to see Coldplay live in Sydney. Get on the air with us and be listening out for a uh, callback from Mel Tresina after 9 o'clock. So just... Just so I know, this is these people are just going in the yep, draw. Of course. <laughs> just 
I'm not about to start Congratulations! Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Oprah style. Oh, I can only only put you in the draw, Caroline, out of Green Bank. Oh, okay. That's all right. That's a big step. Mm. It's, it's yeah, it's better than nothing, trust me. It's further than I would have got anywhere. Oh, hello. Yeah. Do I detect an accent? Uh, maybe. Mm. There's going to be the no then again. Yeah, well, our English listeners have gone up since we hired a producer from Wigan. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's funny how we get He's literally it. from up the road from oh, me. Oh, is that a coincidence? Of... You're from Manchester. Yeah, no. mm. That's because no, you, no. you're probably her auntie. <laughs> <laughs> she's rigging no, the prizes. So. No, she's not. No, I don't think so. No, but if, no she's from up the road from me. I'm from Choyley. She's from the home of the Wigan Choyley. kebab. Right. She's from the home of the what? Wigan kebab. The Wigan oh. kebab? Oh, what's a Wigan kebab? Pie bam, pie in a tea cake, pie in a muffin, pie in a bread roll, whatever you want to say, but it's a swigging kebab. A pie in a bread roll? Yeah. A meat, a meat pie in a bread roll? Yeah. <laughs> Makes me want to try it. I mean, I've, I, used to, well, I used to work, I stacked shelves at Coles for when I was like out of school. And we used to have that, we get the bakery, we get a uh, bread roll and a pie, bang. Roll like, in a roll, we used yeah. to have sausage roll in a roll. Yeah, carbs on carbs. Nah. What, what, what are swigging you? kebab. Pie bomb, best wigan, thing you'll ever have. A wigan kebab. A wigan kebab. Well, you're in the drawer anyway, Caroline. Well done. Well, that sounds grand. The last time I saw him was at Glastonbury in 2011. I shall start brushing off my cold play tunes straight <laughs> away. It's not Mandy from Sales. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Where's she from? She's Scottish. She's from Wigan as well, man. isn't she? Was she? I thought she was I'm pretty sure she's around no, that she's area. Manchester. 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 That's Manchester as well. That's you, isn't it, Alicia? No, she's Wigan. Yeah, oh, you're Wigan. Wigan. Yeah, Wigan's 20 minutes out of Manchester. Mm. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, Brit- Brittany. Oh, uh, no, Melda. Out of Logan home. Melda. G'day. No. Oh. Uh, do I detect an accent? <laughs> <laughs> no. No accent here, guys. Good morning. Uh, you're in the drawer, Melda. Uh, well done. You beauty. Thanks. You too. Brittany out of Cleveland. Hello. Hi. How are you? What's going on? Britain, oh. bitch. <laughs> That's <laughs> it. <laughs> it's not your birthday, mate. But come on. Yeah. Calm down, buddy. <laughs> You're made, in the draw. I made myself laugh then. Ooh, thanks, guys. <laughs> Good on you. Uh, Damon. Yes. Capal- beauty. Capalaba. Damon. Yep. What do you got? What's your favourite? What's your favourite Coldplay song? Uh, uh, yellow or Every Tear Drops a Waterfall. Yeah, okay, two big ones. I'll both mm. get a run at the concert, I'd imagine. Yep. Yeah. Fingers crossed. In the draw. Last one. Fix You. Fix You is a good one, yeah, too. Good like when yeah. that kicks in yeah. halfway through. I'll play a bit of that yeah. whilst we talk to our next yeah. caller. Elena. Reminds me of a woman. What does? This song. Oh, yeah. You're there. Yeah, this is the bit. Is this where the phrase rolled? Yeah. I know. <laughs> Oh, really? Yeah. At the Toyota Fishing Expo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I do remember. Yeah, this bit. It's about to stop, Ash. You're going to be very disappointed. No. Oh, why would they cut it there? I don't know. I don't know who does the hooks on That's these songs. weird hook. It's Pierso. Mm, bloody Pierso. Ah, uh, one more. Uh, who is it? Helena? Yeah. Oh, hello. Good morning. You're in the draw, too. Lucky last Thank night today. Thank you. Good luck. Here we go. Yes. That's good, I like this. So Tresina, yeah, makes the call back after 9 o'clock this morning. Oh, t- oh okay, that's a daily willy. Mm-hmm. The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. Tickets to Coldplay live in Sydney. Flights, accommodation, all sorted out. Head to the Nova Player app or get on air with us for the rest of this show and we'll send you there. Speaking of Sydney. Oh, good segue. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's how it's done, Sam. Excellence is rewarded on this show, Sam, just so you know. Um, a mate just, of Ash- you know what? Just leave it at that. <laughs> yeah. that. They can be the break. Just a segue to nothing. <laughs> yeah. Um, Ash, Lutzi and Susie. I'm joking. On Nova, I'm joking. Oh, okay. I'm joking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> not the worst break. Oh, yeah, that's your best um, out of the year. Yeah, not bad. Um, <laughs> um, I caught up with a mate of uh, oh. Ash and mine. That we saw. I won't say his name just in case there's legal proceedings um, pending. Um, oh. A mate of ours, Ash. Uh, you, now just, I want to know his we, name. We sent a loose video of us. Uh, oh yes, yeah. Having a drink in Sydney, and um, we- he he yep. was like. Um, he goes, can you guys notice my head? Your video's got so much <laughs> loose. <laughs> pretty, <laughs> pretty, <laughs> pretty loose videos. <laughs> It'd be like, Ash, another thing. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was mostly our friend that was sending him, not me. Yeah. Anyway, um, he goes, uh, oh, can you can you see my 
head. And I'm like, what do you mean? And I had a closer look, and he had like a whole, like, <laughs> it looked like he'd sort of shaved a chunk out of his head. Oh. But And then the front looked all fr- frizzled, frizzled, I guess you'd call it. Yeah, sure. Like, what on earth happened? Like, Has he been to Turkey? No. no? <laughs> I've gone, yeah, what, what on earth? And what happened was, he was at some fancy bar in Sydney, I think, on Sunday. I can't even remember the name of the bar. Probably best, best when I mention it again for mm. legal re- legal reasons. It's quite the weekend you've had. Um, <laughs> I wasn't there, but he's sitting there, and this, this fancy bar slash restaurant he was at had this massive chandeliers. Oh. And... Um, and the chandeliers have candles, massive candles in them. Oh, no. And he's sitting, just sitting there. A candle has fallen out of the chandelier, oh. come down, and so as it's thinking, it's still lit, probably just as, uh, you know, being, a, what's the word? Like, the, the flames probably died on the way down. Yeah. But he got hot wax. Yeah. So the oh. hot wax has gone bang, oh. and it's burnt. burnt so all the frizzled hair is like burnt hair. Oh, no. And... And also burnt his scalp a bit here. Really? And also cut a huge, not cut out, but, um, you know, like there's a, it's, the hair's burnt off his head. Wow, that's pretty bad if you're that restaurant. It's pretty mm. bad. Like, they gave him a free meal. No, mate. <laughs> oh, no, mate. I'm, I'm like, hey. <laughs> might need a little bit more than that. I'll, I'll, be, I'll pretend Just I'm a so lawyer. You know, that garlic bread yeah. is on the house. <laughs> yeah. 100%. That's what they said. And I said, well, you can, I'm thinking half a mil you can squeeze out of it. Oh, a hundred percent. I said, I'll represent you if I can get twenty percent of it. I'll, yeah. uh, I'll do it. Don't you reckon? Oh, mate. Are you, you can... think of those Lardy Dar Sydney restaurants? They'd be having <laughs> they've got a meetings lot of money. today about if this dude is this dude going to ring us? Yeah, they're like, oh no, but we gave him free garlic yeah, bread. Yeah, free garlic bread. <laughs> did, did anything happen to cause the candle to fall no, out? No, it was like, just was it... a just the thing. I dare say that we know the chandeliers. No the chandel- chandeliers will be gone mm. by this week. Yeah. Jeez, that's pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah, don't you reckon? That's I would just bad. like send them a legal letter just to scare them a bit. See what else they've that's got. What I, that's what I said to do. Make them empty their pockets. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go. There's the advice. <laughs> the Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. I'm trying to work out what happened on this Qantas flight from Sydney to Tokyo that uh, happened over the weekend. Qantas has apologised after an R-rated movie was played to oh. an entire plane full of passengers travelling from <laughs> Sydney to R-rated. Tokyo. R-rated. Oh. Yeah. What's that? Which is R? Uh, like it's well, that yeah. one oh. down from X. How's that? Which one's R? <laughs> well. As if you don't know, mate. Come on. No, <laughs> but R you'll well, get. The ones you'd get. R's. You could get it from your Blockbuster video <laughs> store, but you have to go to Fishwick to get the X. <laughs> yes. That's yes. the best way to explain it. Yes. No, you'd see. You know, you'd see. Some nudity. You'd see full nudity. Yeah, or violence. You know, or violence. In, in mm. <laughs> yeah, wow. Yeah. Well, this was this was the former. So what do you see? Well, you mean like it's you're saying everyone saw it, so it's one of those planes where the, the, the screen pops down and mm. you've only got one option. Well, I'll, I'll give I you the know, story. Still did that. Technical issues meant the crew could only broadcast right. one movie across every screen. Oh, no. And after a request <laughs> from some passengers, the movie Daddy... <laughs> Basic oh, Instinct? The movie Daddy-O. Was chosen. <laughs> Daddy-o. It, it sounds like it's a bit of a cover up. I don't know how all these people requested that film and then they're like, yeah, sure, that's fine without checking the rating or like, well, with yeah, kids who, on who, board. Who's, who's, how did they do the vote? Yeah, who did yeah. the vote? Yeah. Like, Hands hey. up, everyone, if you want to watch this. <laughs> Daddy O. I'm trying to come. Do we know anything about this movie? Uh, the 2023 dra- a synopsis. drama stars Sean Penn and Dakota Johnson. Mm. As a taxi driver and his passenger. Yeah. As they discuss their relationships, including an affair Johnson's character had with a married man. Oh, well, I'm sorry, but if it's called Daddy O, surely red flags would have come up, yeah. you know? There's not yeah. many sweet rom coms called Daddy O. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. Yeah. No. One pa- <laughs> there isn't. <laughs> One passenger know. described the R rated movie as extremely inappropriate saying it featured graphic nudity and a lot of sexting. Oh. Uh, and they're saying that the, the, you, could, you could literally reviews. read the text on screen without needing headphones. Yeah. Well, Gavin in 34F said it was erotic tour de force. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, you know, you're getting a lot of different people saying different things, there, aren't you? Each you know, to their own. Each to their own. Some people were probably very pleased, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's the, that's the way they used to do it back in the old, in the old days. You'd travel and there'd only be like pop the, down. the pop down screen, and everyone would have to watch the same movie. Mm. Yeah, right. So this must have just been the same movie playing on the back of everyone's everyone's seat, yeah. in front of them. Susie, Susie was telling me last <laughs> yeah, week she when she was younger, like that yeah. should be a pantomime. <laughs> <laughs> 
The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. The Prince is on! The Prince is on! The moment of the beauty! The Prince is on! Who is on the streets? woo The Prince is on! That's a lot of weird stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that was a nice touch. <laughs> Sam's well, face. Uh, explain it to you. Sam's sitting there going, "What's going on in here?" I was. I wasn't expecting it. I must say. <laughs> <laughs> That's a story to take you by surprise. <laughs> story behind <laughs> the bell. Uh, it is, uh, Mitch. Have you acknowledged the fact that it is Ashley Bradham's birthday today? I don't think it's been. Ooh, I haven't yet. Happy on birthday, Ashley. Happy birthday, Ash. Thank, Thank you, mate. Come on, I mean, you I appreciate know, yeah, that. I'd say, you know, ring your own bell, but that's probably a job for somebody I just else. Did. So uh, I just we'll get, did. We'll, we'll get that. Yeah, we'll get that done for, for you, though. You didn't have to, you know, do the, the bell ringing for your own birthday, but uh, uh, maybe the least I can do is bring you back some KFC because they yes. have jumped on board. Takeaway Tuesday uh, this week, and you know, I know Sam, you just put through an order. A, a zinger was it? Is that what I've got to bring back for you? Yes, please, mate. Okay, a zinger good. burger. Thank is that the you spicy? Know, is that the spicy? Yeah, I love a little, you little like bit that, of spice. Yeah. yeah, I love it. There's no, you know what I was thinking about? The chi- KFC chicken's the best chicken. Yep. Where do you rate the is chips? Ah, uh, oh, no, they're our partner. We love them so much. <laughs> 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 Just cut that oh, bit out of the air, check, Alicia. <laughs> <laughs> They're my top. The Play KFC the chips are my top. That's my top seed. Extra yeah. salt. When it comes to the oh, chips. Oh, yes. Yeah. So you know, what yeah. I was thinking about the KFC, guys, is I think that you, you know, I probably go more broad across the menu of KFC than anywhere else you go. Like, you might have your favourites anywhere else. KFC, you sort of scan that menu and you just get something different every time you go along because there's always something new to try. I know they've got the packed lunch at the moment. Have you had a go at the slab, Buzz? No. It's sort of like the popcorn chicken. Seems very targeted, Mitch. Why would you ask me that question? Yeah. No, I'm just, well, you know, we, we, seem, to, we seem to have very similar uh, palates. That's I think the popcorn I, chicken right? on the bread rolls, right? It is. I right. haven't and tried I, it. It looks good. It's bread rolls these days, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. yeah sometimes you look at, you know, items, the pictures, and they look to Deceptively, they look big on the menu. You order them, and you're like, "Why is this thing so small?" This thing is massive, and it's like a single serve. You can get ones that serve like I don't know, like ten people or something like that. Really? Oh, it's new on the menu. Go out there and mm. treat yourself, Ash. Maybe for your birthday, get yourself a yeah, little KFC slab on the way I home. I love their coleslaw oh, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. Sam Set. probably hates it, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Sam, Sam is not a fan. No, I love it. You know what, actually, last time I went to KFC, they chucked in a few extra um, chicken sticks for me, and I was pretty stoked about that. Why? Just because you're, you're you. You know, I just give them a big smile and I get some free stuff. No, no I actually think I paid for it. You go. <laughs> yeah. Is it fair to say your spice sort of is somewhere between a Zinger burger and Daddy-O, an R-rated <laughs> film? <or a> spice <laughs> like, is that what your, your spice radar is? Yeah, right. An exactly erotic right. tour de force. <laughs> <laughs> that's just the Zinger Burger. Yeah. An erotic tour de force, that's what I call it. <laughs> anyway. Sorry. I will say, we've given Emily uh, out here that I'm actually right. giving this voucher forgot what to. we're doing. Uh, plenty, plenty to work <laughs> with, uh, Em. So uh, no matter what, you and you said there's about 30 people. Uh, they're working for 1-3 Health, guys. So we're out here rewarding people doing some amazing work. And you've got yeah. about a team of about 30 that are going to enjoy this free KFC the, uh, later today. Yeah, thank you so much. We can't wait. Saving the lives of Queenslanders, so well deserved. We're happy yeah. to play a part in that. So at least, you know, there is a story that's going to be told out there. We'll say, well, we actually helped feed the people that did all the life savings. So, you know, we're, all we can say is that I guess you're welcome uh, from out, out here. And, uh, and KFC jumping on board. Get more bang for your bucket with KFC's packed lunch just for just nine ninety five. Not available on delivery, but uh, to yourself, uh, Em, and the other people out here at 1-3 Health out here at uh, Zilmir. Thank you for your work and uh, enjoy, your, uh, enjoy your free feed. Thanks to our Takeaway Tuesday and KFC yeah. this morning. Thank you very much. We will definitely enjoy that. There we go. There's going to be a lot of people, I think, getting KFC on the way home today. Bronte, I'll be home late. <laughs> the Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. No relation. Get ready for the ultimate Halloween party on the Brisbane River. I'm afraid of no ghosts. Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill's Halloween Cruise on Oasis. Your ultimate weekend escape on the Brisbane River. Sam Frost is sitting in with us uh, this morning. Do you do Halloween? You've got kids, haven't you, Sam? Yeah, I've got yeah. a little toddler. I reckon I'm going to dress him up like a little pumpkin cute. because he's so cute. And uh, and he'll, he'll probably travel around with his little cousins and trick or treat. <laughs> You know, I'm not a huge Halloween person. No, dress up for you. (laughs) Nah, nah, mate. I'm too cool for that. No, (laughs) Um, I just think it's cute for them, you know. Have a bit of fun. How old is your toddler? Uh, He's one and a half. Okay. I've got a one and a half year old as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's too cute. So will you do trick or treating? Uh, I don't think so. If I'm being, oh, I'll be at this party. To be fair, so maybe yeah, my wife will have to do it. But last year I brought. Uh, so every year we have kids knocking on our doors, and I never had anything because you know our kids were so young. 
So last year I went out, out to Coles and bought like Freddo frogs and lollies and everything. Not one kid knocked on my door. Yeah. <laughs> they probably they probably thought, oh, no, I don't know about this creepy guy. He's got yeah, an old guy. Old bugger, he never, he never gives yeah. a sense. He's been earmarked. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, but the best place to spend it yeah, is on Oasis, three-tier VIP uh, luxury cruise boat. Dress-up's compulsory, obviously. 100%. Compulsory. Have you yeah. locked down an outfit yet? No, it was on TV looking on the weekend, though. Uh-huh. Who are you? Doing what, homework. What were, you, what, were you, what were you, what was your search history? What, did, what were you looking at? Oh, you, oh, which, my TV, oh, my TV <laughs> search history? <laughs> yeah, he said he let me very clear out yeah. that. Yeah. You weren't be on the work Wi-Fi, too. were you? I don't know you well enough yet. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, um... Oh, my TV history is weird and wonderful and oh, okay. bizarre. But uh, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of Halloween, Halloween gear on mm. there. There's really like really realistic masks, yeah. like full on like masks that where you can put you know like old man mask and yeah. you know like yeah. horror masks and stuff like that. Ma- masks are creepy. I, I don't like. I, you, like you just don't know who's behind them. Yeah, that's it. You know. Anyway, yeah. yuck, yuck, yuck. yuck. <laughs> No. <laughs> yeah, but, but it could be good too. Like just you well, know, just to be incognito for the night. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. Like you could just sort of get into it. <laughs> I saw one of those Timu deals. It looked like David Brent in the office. Like one of those ones where, you know, it's it was it was a dinosaur that looked like you were a little person riding oh, on yeah. the dinosaur. Yeah, one of the lions had a similar thing yeah. at the Mad yes. Monday. They had an uh, alien holding them. <laughs> it looked like yeah. they were a little person at the front sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's, I think, pretty, that's pretty cool. Yeah. That was an inflatable. That was like, it must have had a... It's got like a fan in the back. A battery. Yeah. How does that work? Does yeah, that... a little battery pack and it blows air through it because it will connect to your head or something like yeah. quite tight. Yes. So the air doesn't so escape. Like, yeah. Mm. Yeah, exactly. right. Because I was... I was I was considering it, and then I'm like, you know what? It looked like the guy had to hold the reins up to the dinosaur for the whole night. Yes. And I went, that's right. going to get tiring after a while. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You know? Eventually, the, it's just going to fall. Yeah, it's going to flop. It's going to flop down. Anyway, these are all... Yeah. Uh, Tina, Wellington Point, hello. Hello. How are you? Yeah, I'm not too bad. You're coming along. Yeah. You're coming Thank along. You. You've won tickets. Just like that. Amazing. Oh, I love that. We're going to get out of trick-or-treating with the kids. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was never, that would be one of my answers. <laughs> it, it was never a thing when I was a kid, Halloween. Like, it burst onto the scenes, I reckon, sort of late. To, like, when you were a kid, Sam, were you trick-or-treating? Trick, trick or treating? Nah, no, I wasn't. I wasn't. Yeah. And I'm only, I'm, I'm 35, but now nowadays all the big stores, I think they're just trying to, you know... Cash in. Cash in. Yeah. Yes, no, no. Uh, we, we did when I was a kid. Did you? Did yeah, you? Walk the streets. Yeah. And you're way older than 35. Yeah. <laughs> The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. I heard the weather was spectacular. Beautiful. Up here, particularly yesterday. Both days were good. Sunday was really hot. Uh, Yesterday was a bit, like, I was going to say cooler, but it was still like 31, 32 degrees. I took my kids to um, Talabudra Creek uh, Beach. Have you guys been there? It's like just up from Palm Beach. Yeah, I mean, not for a a long long time. time. It's a great spot. Beautiful. That that was a, a regular for us when the... Kids were smaller. Mm. Like, well, yeah, it's, it's a, perfect a, for kids. It's like it's an unreal little pocket. Yeah, I was, it? it's, I was about to say it's a hidden gem, but there was a lot of people there. They need a bigger Busy. car park. Oh, it was. It was. We parked, I think, a k and a half away. So we dropped our kids off. I took them out, walked them down the beach. Bronte parked the car. Then I had to go back a k and a half, like literally like a 10, 15 minute walk up towards wow. Burley, or uh, where did you park? Yeah, it's oh, a bit further south. So, like, oh, south. Yeah, south so all those. Tal- yeah, there's yeah. like those yeah. back streets that are, I mean, geez, ages away. Yeah. Um, that we had to park, but beautiful, beautiful oh, spot. Oh yeah, yeah. Whenever you say Tally, I um, I can hear my kids go, "Tell us the Cali Slater story, Dad," because uh, we, well, as I said, <laughs> we used to go down there. So every time I walk it, but you know that bridge that connects Burley to mm, Tal- yeah. Talabudra. Yeah. Um, like if ever you find yourself on it, just remember this that. <laughs> Kelly Slater in training. Yeah, um, you, there was him and one other person. I can't remember who it was, but he used to grab a big rock, no, or a twenty kilo weight, and he would go to the bottom of the ocean oh, yeah. and walk the seabed floor. Oh, what over to the other side? Like that's how you know, long that <laughs> would take. Have to take over a minute. Jeez, yeah, yeah. and, and, and he'd walk minute. along at high tide. Walk along the bottom. Of the the ocean and then pop out on the other side. I was in it across the whole. Yeah, like sort of just it'd parallel take, with the bridge. I take, take a couple take, of minutes to walk yeah. over yeah. the bridge, let alone under it. Yeah, so it's going to take two minutes. Mm. How long you, yeah, the current's pretty strong I, there as well. That'd be difficult. Yeah, I can't walk over the bridge yeah. without holding my breath and imagining that I'm on the, that I'm on the floor. <laughs> what you, a, you, what you a hero! <laughs> 
The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. Just real quick. Yep. NRL Grand Final. Yep. Jack Howarth from the Melbourne Storm scoring that try that was then awarded not a try. Mm-hmm. Did, seen, did he ground the ball? I don't think so. Have you seen the new vision? The NRL released like didn't the, they release 4K. 4K or something. It's like, where was that on the TV <laughs> coverage? Why weren't we seeing that? Yeah. yeah I, look, I, uh, and I listened to Bellamy's press conference and he was very gracious in, de- in defeat. Jeez, mm. I like him a lot. But, Me too. Uh, I've, I've seen I've seen that, what you're talking about, mm. the, that footage, and then I've seen a picture of the ball touching. That's the his gr- arm, apparently. Well, unless his forearm is white. Have you seen Jack Howard? He's got a steed, steed and tattoo. And tattoo. He's, yeah. he's, he's pasty. Along his <laughs> forearm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. But, I mean, I, I, I'm accepting the decision, and I think the best team won. Yeah. But, like, that angle clearly to me shows that the ball touched the ground. I don't know because he, he didn't really react when it no, didn't get. So he no. was, I think he was not confident either. He should have just dropped, dropped early. Mm. But the line was right. He went over the line and if he had have dropped earlier, I reckon he would have got there. Did you see all the Melbourne fans um, post the Taruva try? Because apparently he didn't ground it either. That didn't, really? That, have you seen that? Yeah, I, I don't yeah. think he did either. That mm. one. The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. Uh, Sam Frost sitting in this morning, came in at uh, 7 o'clock. So you live on the sunny coast, correct? Yeah, I'm, yeah. A, I'm in the sunny coast. I've had a ball this morning. This has been a lot of fun. It's gone quick. Yeah. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Um, yeah, so what well, you just did the... You just did the <laughs> hey, hey, don't, don't, don't make it too obvious. No, it's no, not so easy. You, it's very you guys are working it's, really it's not hard. Easy at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyone's listening? <laughs> yeah, yeah, very, small, <laughs> very small percentage of the population can do this job. That's, yeah. it's, important that everyone well, yeah. it's important that everyone acknowledges that, Ashley. What am I talking about? <laughs> yeah. Good correction. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but that, so it was the drive you drove this morning? Yep, a two-hour drive. Yeah. Yep, cruised yeah. with uh, all the other people in bumper-to-bumper traffic. But you know what? It's worth it spending time with you guys <laughs> this oh, morning. Stop us. Hey? So you're hanging around afterwards, eh? Hey? Just... No, I've got to go. But, um... <laughs> Straight back on the, uh, whatever it is, the priest highway. No, hang around and do, the, you, will you do the podcast Yeah, with of us? course. That'll be fun. Your mate Nick will be, he'll run the oh, podcast Oh, yes. I'm just looking forward to hearing his stories. So what, what is life for you at the moment, though? Like, you're on the sunny coast, you've got kids? kids yeah, kid, yeah. Kids? i got my little what? babe. I've got my 18-month-old Ted, who's a legend. So one kid? Yeah, just one. Ted. Ted. Yeah. And he's, Teddy, a, Ted. he's a cool dude. What's his actual name? Uh... Fiddles. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know your kids so know. <laughs> the Ash Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. I'm smarter than Susie. I'm smarter than Susie. Bright and Homes includes aircon, flooring, steel frames, and solar as standard. You don't need to be smarter than Susie to discover why it's better with Brighton. Oh, there's a pretty cool subplot. Playing out here with uh, Sam out of Rochdale South, our competitor for Smarter Than Sue's. Hey, Sam. Hey, morning. How's it going? Very well. It says that your wife, Laura, played Sue's in August. Was it this year? Correct. And she went down 4-2 to Sue's. Correct. So bragging mm. rights in the house, up for grabs. If you can come home, say, oh, I, I dusted Sue's up. It wasn't that hard either. <laughs> You got bragging exactly. rights. Okay, yeah, mate. Let's hope I don't do worse than her. <laughs> yeah, so she went down 4 2, was it? Yeah. All right, well, we were playing for 900. Nine, yep. 900? Yeah, we're sure. a win in the 8 o'clock hour. Good luck, mate. Here we go. 30 seconds on the clock. Your time starts now. What is the direct translation of La Nina to English? Oh, don't know. In what year did the Titanic sink? 1912. Bollywood originated in which country? India. Where do the Brisbane Bullets play their home games? Don't know. Spell asthma. A S M P A. Stop the clock. What? Yes. <laughs> Would you, yeah, got that one wrong. <laughs> you got, That's you, all right. You guys said it phonetically, didn't you, Ashley? Asthma. Yeah. Asthma. Yeah, asthma. Yeah, you, I think you put a TH in the wrong place. Asthma. 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 Yeah. Uh, I bet you I don't wonder if I did the same no, thing I think, I I think you did go asthma. I'm pretty sure you don't. Yeah. I actually remember that. Asthma. Um, <clears throat> any time left on the clock? Yeah, well, quite a bit, actually, Sam. Five seconds, mate. Cool. That was pretty quick. That's cool. Pretty quick. No pantsing, Sam. I can let you know that. 
Cool. No, I was talking to Sam Frost over here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we had that, didn't we? Uh, at eight funny. o'clock. Yeah. Uh, mm. It was a nudie run for. Her. Okay, uh, five seconds on the clock. Let's bring in the Gimpo. Oh, beauty, Richard Champion. Oh, it's a new one, I think. Stumbling in. The game is alive. The answers are in. Now it's time for Sue's to guess them. Bring in the gimp. Let's bring in the gimp. Bring in the gimp. Plenty of cash on the table. Bring in the gimp. Nice. Nice. Champs! All right, let's see how Sue's went. 30 seconds on the clock, and your time starts now. What is the direct translation of La Nina to English? Uh, too much rain. In what year did the Titanic sink? 1912. Bollywood originated in which country? India. Where do the Brisbane Bullets play their home games? Um, at the Entertainment Centre. Spell asthma. A S T H M A. I knew you did it. <sighs> oh. um, yeah, no need for two K. Sue's uh, smoked you on time too. I'd Seven say. seconds. Oh, yeah, Sam. Yeah, right. Wow. Two, two seconds close. left on it. The direct translation of La Nina to English. Anyone want to have a crack at this? I don't think it's too much rain. No, Sue's said that, but uh, that's yeah. wrong. It, it means the girl. Oh. Yeah. What? Yeah. It's got nothing to do with weather. Yeah. Yeah. What is that? I don't know. That's what it says. Yeah, right. The girl. In what year did the Titanic sink? I was very impressed with this. You both said 1912, and that's correct. Uh, one all. Top of the third. Bollywood originated in which country? You both said India, and that is correct. Two all. Where do the Brisbane Bullets play their home games? Sam, you said, I don't know. Sue said, the Ents sent out at Boondle. Mm. And strangely enough, we were just talking about that yeah. earlier on in the show. It looked great. And that is correct. So Sue's hits the front three, two, and spell asthma. Asthma. <laughs> A-S-T-H-M-A. And Sue's got that correct. So you have... Got the exact same score. <laughs> oh wow! That your wife went down to Sue's by. Oh, that's two. a bit cute. There you go. You both got two questions correct. Oh, hang on, and it says your wife Laura finished with no time left on the clock. You had five seconds oh. left, so you know, you're a little bit better. A small victory for you. <laughs> he doesn't care. Uh, into the cave, lots of goes for you, Sam. Right, I've got four tickets to Nova's Night at the Movies, the advanced screening of uh, Venom, The Last Dance. Uh, that's in VMAX. Starts October 24. Tom Hardy in this action comedy. Sounds like it's an absolute ripper. Mitch has high hopes for this one. And also, I'll give you a $100 Retro's voucher on Brunswick Street Mall. You can go check out Retro's. What a great night is. Get the fishbowl, I recommend. Sam? Awesome. Good on you, mate. Man, Thank you. Words, Sam, but, uh, <laughs> Good on you, Sam. Good on you, Sammy. Good on you. Uh, up next, Mel Tresina has got your invites to Coldplay down in Sydney Flights Accommodation. Yeah. Thanks for coming, Thanks for coming in, Sam, too. Yep. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's you. Me, Sam. Oh, no, sorry. I was, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm okay. Um, no, yeah, I oh, know. You're over there doing some yeah, weird thing. Um, <laughs> thanks so much for having me. This has been a lot of That's fun. That's right. The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au.